If you are an advanced painting student in high school or college, or just enjoy painting, you may consider building your own artist stretcher frame. Building your own stretcher frame is more cost efficient and will be a better quality than buying a frame that is pre-made. An artist stretcher frame is the wooden structure used to stretch your canvas over. In order to build an artist stretcher frame, you will need to have access to a miter saw. Next, you will need to gather your materials. You will need wood glue, tape measure, corner clamps, hammer, one and a quarter inch finishing nails, one inch wire brads, sandpaper, quarter inch plywood, and safety glasses. You will also need to purchase your lumber. First, you will need one inch by two inch beams. Poplar is the best quality wood for your dollar. Pine is less expensive, but is also of a lesser quality. Either type of wood will build a sturdy stretcher frame. Also, you will need to purchase quarter rounds. These are typically in the same aisle as the 1x2s. The quarter rounds keep the canvas from hitting the frame while you are painting. The length of these products is dependent on the size frame you will be building. It is a good idea to purchase more wood than needed in case you make a mistake. Make sure you check to see your lumber is not warped before you buy it. This will cause major problems when you are constructing your frame later. The first thing you need to do is glue the quarter rounds to the 1x2s using your wood glue. Start at one end of the 1x2 and spread a thin line of glue to the other end. Place the quarter round on top of the glue with the round edge facing the inside of the 1x2. Next, nail your quarter rounds to the 1x2s using your 1 inch wire brads. You do not need to drill pilot holes for this step. Wipe off excess glue as needed. Now you are ready to miter the corners of your stretcher bars. Turn the handle of your miter saw to the 45 degree angle mark on the right and secure. There should be a protective cover over your blade for safety reasons. If your saw does not have a safety guard, be careful. Mark the corner of the first 1x2 you are going to cut. Place the 1x2 against the back of the miter saw, making sure to keep your hands away from the cutting area. Make your first cut. Measure the desired length of your stretcher bar. Turn the miter saw to the other 45 degree angle mark on the left and repeat the cutting procedure, making sure to align the saw blade with the designated measurement. Sand the cut edges of your wood. Repeat these steps until you have four stretcher bars to make your artist stretcher frame. Next, it is recommended that you countersink your nails. This will ensure your final canvas does not deteriorate or show rust spots after you stretch your canvas. Apply wood glue to both sides of your 45 degree angle joints. Join all four stretcher bars and clamp using your corner clamps. Tighten all four corner clamps to ensure 90 degree angles in all of your corners and let the stretcher frame set for at least 30 minutes. After the glue has dried, you are going to drill pilot holes and nail the bars together for additional strength. Use the one and a quarter inch finishing nails and choose a drill bit that is slightly less in diameter than the nail. Stand up your frame and begin to drill your pilot holes. Next, use your hammer to nail the finishing nails into the pilot holes. The final step to secure your stretcher frame is to cut and secure the corners. Cut your quarter inch plywood into approximately three inch squares. The size of your squares is dependent on the size of your final stretcher frame. Set your miter saw to the 45 degree angle mark and cut the squares in half. Glue and nail your triangle plywood pieces to the corners of the frame using the nail brads. Your stretcher frame is now complete. Yay, you're done! Now you are ready to stretch your canvas over your handmade artist stretcher frame. After you stretch your canvas, it is up to you to decide what to paint. 